I've always been funny <laughs> since I was a little kid. I think I, I think I developed my sense of humor because I had a lazy eye and a patch and glasses, and I was really nerdy. So I developed the sense of humor to get people to like me. And uh, and I've always wanted to do stand up, and I was terrified, terrified, terrified to do it. And I went to UMass Boston for theater, and I had this friend sign me up for an open mic night at Duck Soup, and I did my act in front of my theater class, and they were like, ooh. You're not really that good. <laughs> and I went and I did my, my act, and uh, I think I got zeros and everything for material and for whatever else they, but I got a, a 10 in state for stage presence. And once I did the stand up, I, I was like bit, and I was like, I need to do this. I don't want to get old. I want to be shot in the head on my 80th birthday. <laughs> I do. I think that's a perfect age. You know, and I want to know why? Because I never want to get so old that I can't pluck that one billy goat hair out of my face. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? It's either here on your chin or on your cheek. It's like one of those wires from the SOS pad. It's like just one little. You don't even notice it. You like halfway through a conversation, you look out of the corner of your eye. I had a sitcom named after myself. It was called Costello. I wanted to continue on with what I was trying to do with the sitcom, so I sat down and I said, let me write this one-person show. The name that I've settled on is a uh, minus 32 million words because I read an article in the New York Times. It said poor kids have 32 million less words than rich kids. And when I read that, I thought, oh, that makes sense why we used to swear all the time and why we would use racist terms and why we, we only use short, like, curt, nasty words because we didn't know how to express ourselves. And so it really struck me as, like, that doesn't seem fair. Because I always used to say, why don't we love each other? Who cares about money? Even when I had my TV show, I made a lot of money and people would say, well, you're going to want a plane and you're going to want a boat and you're going to want this. And I used to be like, no, I'm not. I don't want that. I would rather have love. I would rather communicate with somebody. I'd rather feel happy. I wanted to write a show that, would, that mimicked life. And sometimes you can be laughing really, really hard and something tragic happens out of nowhere and you have to deal with it. But then after a while, the tragedy, no matter how tragic it is, it lifts, and I always say, and I even said it to my friend this weekend, I said, why? Why do we all keep going? And she was like, I don't know why. And I'm like, because that's the part of the line in the show where I think that hope is always stronger than fear, because why would we? And so that's what the whole show is about. Like, no matter what happened, and I show all of the good, the bad, the ugly that happened to me, and the question is like, well, why did I keep going? And why do I keep trying to change as a person? And you know, make my life a little better. I wrote the show so that people would come into a theater, a dark theater, and be able to feel feelings that they've never allowed themselves to feel. And I, part of me was terrified that they were gonna be like, don't ever do that again! <laughs> but they're not, they love it.